YouTuber apology time! Why am I still getting hate? I have no excuses here today. <laughs> name them, I'll say their names. Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. Hello, I uh, wanted to make a statement on what I said. Time for me to review YouTuber apologies. That's right, for some reason, I thought this was a good idea. You know, I made a few apology videos, just a few of them, just a couple. So I feel like I have the basic knowledge and skill to determine what makes a bad apology video and what makes a good apology video. So sit back and learn, just in case you become a YouTuber and decide to mess up it as well, like most of us. Now, what makes the perfect YouTube apology video? A couple things, there's a couple things. First off, the most important thing, you need to start off with a sign. You need to tell your audience immediately that this is a heavy video to make and it's an extreme burden on your shoulders. And there's no way, a better way to do that but with a lasagna. Number two, what you want to do is shift blame. Shift blame whatever you could do, okay? Never take responsibility. If you take responsibility, then that's admitting that you're wrong. And doing that, that's just impossible. Never admit that you were wrong. Rule number one, actually. That's rule number one. Rule number two, shift blame. Rule number three, play the victim. You, you want to make sure that people know that uh, this has been a great inconvenience to you, okay? This has been a big problem for you. So you might want to bring up something like, uh, let's say, uh, I'm getting cyberbullied. His entire community has decided to cyberbully me. <laughs> Or if you're in deep trouble, you, what you want to do is you want to bring in death threats. Because basically anyone that messes up on the internet will get death threats. It's just how the internet works. Unfortunately, there's going to be that 0.01% of people that go too far. And that's an effective way to just diminish every other criticism. The 99.9% .9 of everything else that I, people have to say. Excuse me, uh, I'm getting death threats, okay? Oh, I messed up? Oh, well, a few selected people have decided to send mean comments to me. So, I think your point is invalid. And I take full responsibility for that. Every single one of your biggest clients told me how much money you've taken from them, how much you've hurt them. Like, I... Name them, I'll say their names. Like, if you want me to, I'll ask them to ask you. Like, I... Yeah, I, I would love to. So why does every single one of your clients tell me that six months ago they knew that you were gonna scam me? That six months ago you stopped working on all their stuff just to make money off of me? No one wants to Hannah. You know, you could always say that you take 100% responsibility, but then shift it completely to someone else. That's always a good sneaky move to make. Maybe say like, you know what? This was 100% my fault that you were offended. <laughs> Let's go through the apologies. I've selected a couple. I selected the most uh, quintessential apology videos that I think has defined the, the culture on this website. Yes, my own is included. But let's just jump into it. First off, we have the T. Martin apology video. This video sort of became a meme on itself just because it is a goddamn piece of art. This apology video, I mean T. Martin. Ah. If this apology video was a fine wine, it would be a Ocean de 1955 a la monde. Very good. Just to bring in context in case you weren't aware of this, I'm sure most people know, but basically T. Martin ran a CSGO gambling website. He pretended that he had nothing to do with it. And look how much money I'm winning. Oh, this is baby, epic, guys. Yes, is look how much me. I'm Holy winning. Cow, All right, kids, sign up for my website where you can win too. And, oh, what? It came out that I own the website? What? I'm the CEO of the website? What? And uh, here's the apology video. So T. Martin thought, okay, well, I need to address this in the best way possible. Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. I, I can't stress enough how much I love this video, okay guys? Okay guys, because we're only eight seconds in and already so much has happened. First off, you start off with a dog. That's an amazing thing to do. You want to bring in like a pet, something that everyone loves. Everyone loves dogs. And he doesn't just bring in a pet. He also has the pet for advice. I have no idea how I'm going to record this video, dude. And the dog even looks sad. 
I mean, if this is not the perfect apology video, I don't know what is. If you can make your pet look sad for your apology video, you're you're done. Hey, hey, hey. He brings in the most beautiful sigh I have ever heard. Well diluted nostrils, his eyes are right, closed. Guys, so uh, He tells us, you know what, this is big. Then you have the background. Not only is he sitting in a goddamn mansion, you know, if you scam kids for money, you kind of want to meet seem a little bit more subtle with it. Maybe you want to not record in the entrance hall of your mansion. How tall is that ceiling? And on top of it all, how do you get your car in the background of your video? I'm sorry. How is that even possible? He does not only just get his mansion in this apology video, he gets his car in there as well. A nice little cameo. I mean, I don't even know how I could possibly set up an apology video to have my car in the background. It doesn't get better than this. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But first and foremost, I do want to say that I... He started off by saying that he doesn't want to waste our time. And then he proceeds to waste our time with saying how much he loves his fans. I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me. You have for the past six years that I've been on YouTube. And you honestly have changed my life. Like every single day I get to wake up and chase my dreams and follow my passions. And that's all been made possible. Because I lied to you. <laughs> I'm sure he loves his fans. Just in the same way you love your money. Just in the same way you love your car and your mansion. So I don't necessarily think he's lying. I just think it's a, it's a good way to start a video. You want to make sure that you tell your fans how much you love them right off the bat. But, and, and not acknowledge any wrongdoing that you've done. Just that you have just so much love to give. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. <laughs> Wait, wait. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. I love this because he's been exposed that his company, he was the CEO of the company, but the, the response is basically, it was public record. It was just public, it was, it's your fault, get it? Shifting blame, this is what I'm talking about. It's your fault, I'm not being disingenuous and I haven't been lying to you, it's your fault, you know? You watch this video? Go, boys! Alright, so I'm gonna open up my... It's your fault for not understanding how perfectly clear it is that uh, he actually owns his website. Look at that! Woo! Off to a hot start, baby! I mean, this whole apology really is just, it just seems like he's trying to cover his ass, legally speaking. And he even says it himself. Please also know that I am committed to making sure that my YouTube channel, as well as all of my other businesses, are in compliance with the law. They're in compliance with the law, everybody. A great response, you know? If you've done something that people don't like, just, just hit him with that. It's a compliance with the law, guys. Slap the ice cream of a kid. It's a compliance with the law. So what was the repercussion with this? Well, not much, to be honest. A lot of people thought, you know, this would be a big scandal, possibly jail time. People said there would be millions of dollars in fines. What, what was the verdict? Well, basically nothing. I mean, they got away with a warning from the FTC. And essentially, if this happens again, they will be fined roughly $40,000. Which, for someone like T. Martin, seems like a pretty insignificant amount. So really, nothing really changed. But you know, it was in compliance with the law. As far as I can tell, he's still uploading videos. And I mean, fair enough, I guess. I don't know. There's no reason to dwell on these things. But I will always be grateful for T. Martin for the best apology video of all time. I would rate this apology video. It's an 8.5. I know I just said it was the best apology video of all time. But it, it could be better. Let's go through why. We have, of course, Laura Lee's apology video. Now, I didn't know who Laura Lee was. Uh, apparently, she did some uh, racist retweets. <laughs> it, it's just confusing, this video, to me. Because I don't understand what is going on. Does it start? Does it honestly start like this? I want to talk to you guys in this video. It's been so long. <laughs> There is no tear there. <laughs> the video has just started off. If you want to like wipe a tear, you can start the video at any point. If this is an amateur move. What you want to do is that you want to make sure you get to the point of the tear break. Then you hit record. You can't just, you know what? Pause. <laughs> what is this? 
<laughs> 12 seconds in and she said absolutely nothing at all, but uh, rubbing her face in strange way and fake wipe tears. This is, uh, this is good. This is what I meant with uh, why T Martin's apology video wasn't perfect because he didn't do this. This is what T Martin was missing. The thing is, when you're going through a controversy and the internet absolutely hates you, and I, mean, I can speak from experience, although I never cried personally from it because I'm not a child or a whammon. Just joking. You know, it is a stressful moment, and I think that's what we're witnessing here. This is not an apology. This is a... I'm trying to fathom what is happening to me here. I'm trying to process what is going on right now. This is not an apology. This is a reaction video to... Uh, the outburst that is probably happening right now, I imagine, on Twitter or in different news media. It's probably the hardest things I've ever done. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to you guys. <laughs> Why is this so comedic? I, 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 you know, you're watching someone crying. You're not supposed to laugh, right? But I think most people think this is funny. I don't know why. Is it the rubbing? I'm not buying it. I don't think anyone is buying it. I'm so sorry for disappointing you. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What was that? Was that from the nose or the mouth or what happened? For disappointing you. <laughs> Ew! Oh! You know what? I'm sorry. This is the perfect apology video. <laughs> so some people pointed out the reason why she's not really crying and then sometimes you see tears is this stress tears. So she's not really crying because she feels bad, but she's crying because she's dealing with all these emotions happening, which is kind of aligns with what I said earlier as well. It hurts me so bad. <laughs> To disappoint you all who have supported me for so many years. I know that I'm better than that person. She practically hasn't said anything but I'm better. So, but haven't showed any reason for us to believe why. I don't know. Maybe I'm being mean now. I, I can't tell, but I just find it interesting how she starts off with saying, I'm better. I'm better now, guys. I'm cured. Look at me. I, six years ago, decided to retweet. Things that were so vile. What Laura Lee does here is absolutely amazing because when you mess up, you want to underplay it as much as possible. You want to make sure that people get the lowest form of what you did. So instead of saying that she tweeted something, it was a retweet. And she goes very hard in on six years ago. It was six years ago. How can you possibly still be angry? But that's the problem with these things. People don't really care when it happened. That was so stupid and ignorant and I have no excuses here today. I'm not here to give you an excuse. I have no excuses. I'm only <laughs> here to say that I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I've done this as well. This is a great... <laughs> you can't make excuses in your apology video, but it's just so damn hard not to. So what you want to say is I'm not making any excuses, but then you can still sort of sneak excuses in there. You know, it was six years ago. <laughs> I'm not making any excuses. It was a retweet. I'm not making any excuses. <laughs> Christ, I hope one day that you guys can save me for the woman that I am. I'm glad there's captions here because I honestly I don't know what she's saying. I can prove to you guys that I'll break my heart. It's so like to look at. Be this goes on for four minutes and 44 seconds. I can't I can't stand this video It's kind of like some things are just so bad that they're good. This is just bad. I'm sorry There's no excuse Again, there's no excuse <laughs> Continues to give excuses There's nothing I can say that's an excuse. I'm just sorry. They've gotten her phone number. They have tacked a child of 14 My 14 year old niece Again, I feel weird criticizing this, but I think it's an important point. It's not okay getting death threats, and I think everyone can agree on that. But it's not a valid excuse either. If you get death threats, take it up with the police. There's no reason to bring it up to your audience as a tool of defending yourself. I've seen this done so many times, even by the media, uh, mainstream media as well. 
uh, oh, we're getting so many hateful comments or death threats or people are being so mean or yada, yada, yada. You know, it's sort of playing the victim mentality. And it's sort of saying that everyone that criticizes me is doing this thing. So what was the repercussion here? Well, Lara Lee uh, was celebrating that she got 5 million subscribers with uh, a hamburger saying five. And then the comments uh, are saying, I'm confused. On YouTube, it says 4.4 million. Hmm. This is very confusing. Yeah, about that. Boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> I think that's really the reason why we got this reaction instead of an apology. Because she was losing subscribers and you know, you gotta pull the plug quick. You gotta do something real fast if that's happening. I would rate this apology video a solid seven. It's, it's pretty good. It hits most of the points that I brought up earlier. <laughs> Moving on, we have, of course, Logan Paul. I'm kind of sick of talking about Logan Paul, but it has 53 million views. This is the most viewed apology video of all time, which is something I'm sure Logan feels very proud of. <laughs> you know, that was a joke, but it, it's true. <laughs> I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. The funny thing, I think the reason why I love this apology video is that it was, you know, he did the mistake of making a tweet first. When you're in a drama or the internet is on your back, you want to, you have to sort of assess the situation. You know, is this going to grow bigger? You know, are people not going to just care for a while? Like, how far do I go to address this? Do I make a video? Do I just make a tweet? And Logan Paul thought, I'll just make a tweet. And it's a beautiful tweet. It's a beautiful thing. I'm sure everyone's seen this, but uh, he, it hits all the good points as well. Instead of apologizing, just make sure that you can tell everyone how great you are as a person. You know how this is the first time you've ever made a mistake in your life, for example. That's a good way to start off an apology video. <laughs> how you get so many views on your channel that it, this drama doesn't even mean anything to you. That's always a great way to acknowledge it as well how you upload videos frequently and how hard you work on those videos, which has nothing to do with the situation. And then say how much power and influence you had. I mean, where's the apology in this? It's absolutely beautiful. And I think the cherry on the top is the emoji. A good apology ends with an emoji and a hashtag. Otherwise it's not a, otherwise don't even talk to me about apologies. Hashtag Logan for life. But the video is pretty good. I, I, uh, you know, obviously a lot of people hate Logan, but I, you know, he addressed that he, what he did was wrong. That's that, you know, what else can you do? A lot of people have been commenting that uh, he's clearly reading from a script and uh, all these things and oh, he scripted his apology and I get that, but clearly you want to have some idea of what you want to say. This is usually a pretty important video and you want to make it right. So I don't really see that as an arg uh, like a good argument. Obviously, if it's completely scripted, it, it comes across as disingenuous and maybe someone else said it. But overall, I think that's fine. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion. No, I did not script all my apology videos, okay? I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. A good apology video sounds like someone else wrote it, okay? <laughs> what you want to make sure is that you use language that you don't typically use in your videos so it people can know that it's not you who wrote this apology. Someone else did, so you can read it out. I made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment, which totally doesn't sound... <laughs> I want to apologize to the internet. When you make an apology video, you want to make sure that you apologize not to the people affected, or at least not first. You want to apologize to the people that are angry first. <laughs> I want to apologize to the internet. Uh, the internet. I want to apologize to anyone who's seen the video. The people who've seen the video. Anyone. Most importantly, I want to apologize to the victim and his family. And then the person, the most important one, put that last. That's the last, <laughs> that's the last thing on the list. I don't expect to be forgiven. I will be better. Thank you. It's a pretty good apology video. I, I don't have that much else to say about it, but it would be better if he ended with Logan for life. That's just my personal opinion. If I had to give any feedback, uh, if you guys need any help with your apology videos, always reach out to me. I, uh, I'm here to help. Now we're running a bit low on time. So I, I want to just uh, give a quick shout out to some response videos. We have, of course, Jenna Marbles famous 47 minute long what happened to my fishies video. <laughs> it's a 47 minute long apology video. 
It is the Atlas of apology videos. A lot of people use this apology video as an example when someone makes a, oh, they did this horrible thing and they just did a two minute response video. But Jenna Marble did something simple wrong and she made a 47 minute long video. So if you were actually really sorry, you may, would have made a five hour long video. You would have made a 24 hour live stream apology video if you were really sorry. I've just been seeing a lot of people make this argument, which of course makes no sense. I do like this video, it's really funny and uh, it's, a, I don't know, in a bizarre way. It's not really an apology video, it's just Jenna giving an explanation to what she did wrong. Apparently she bought fishes and the way she, she treated them uh, instructed by the general store manager was incorrect. So people on the internet got angry that this is not how you treat the fishes. And then she made a video responding to, okay, I've learned and this is how you do it, basically. I, that's, I think, at least what I got out of it. Which is nice, you know? Because a lot of people don't know these things and if the store manager gives you the wrong information, it's nice that she took a, a chance to give the internet the right information as well. I mean, obviously, most people don't know how to treat a fish. I mean, we also have the famous Fine Brother response video, uh, which looking back on is kind of sad, isn't it? Do you guys remember this? Over what this all is has been so overwhelming. And what we've realized is that we completely screwed up with how we originally- Because, I mean, I feel bad. I met them. I know they're nice dudes. I've only met them once, so I can't say like, yeah, they're amazing. Like, they're legit. But I don't think they had bad intention, but this apology video is just so awful. It's just terrible. It's the worst apology video. It seems, it kind of comes across as they're scolding you, you know? They basically try to copyright, that's right, can we copyright? They copyrighted the world React because they own the YouTube channel React. So people are like, no, you shouldn't try and copyright React because then you could just copy strike everyone else that put React in the title. This is actually true. But they're saying, no, we're not gonna do that. But it's like, even if that wasn't your intention, you shouldn't try and do that. So it's just them saying, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. We're not, we would never do this. You're wrong. Uh, the thing is, they're not YouTubers. They produce videos. They don't sit in front of the camera. They have other people sitting in front of the camera for just this reason. So things could definitely have gone a lot better. They seem like they're doing fine now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's one of those things that really shows you, in my opinion, how important it is to make sure you do an apology video the right way. Because then, you know, if your intentions are pure, that doesn't necessarily come across in a video. So I think this is a good example of that. So for example, we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash react. So we're trying to protect it and not run the risk of losing our channel name thanks to someone else getting the trademark. But just because we have or might get trademarks doesn't mean we're going to run around and start taking down videos. You dummies. I guess I gotta watch mine. I mean, I can't sit and criticize other people's reactions and not acknowledge my own. First of all, I mean, what is that cup doing there? Could you not have moved that goddamn cup? It's so annoying to me, I don't know why. Uh, second of all, already, the posture. I mean, I'm clearly in a very defensive position here. Hi guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is not how you make an apology. You see, I still have things to learn. I also look a bit angry. I don't look very happy. I'm, no, I'm not, I wasn't happy. No, surprise, I wasn't happy. Hello, I uh, wanted to make a statement on what I said in my previous live stream. You probably won't believe me when I say this, but whenever I go online and I hear other players use the same kind of language that I did, I always find it extremely immature and stupid and i hate how i now personally fed into that part of gaming as well this is true i still believe this but i haven't given anyone a reason to believe this at this point so it's kind of stupid to bring that up in the beginning i would say something that i said in the heat of the moment i said the word <laughs> now because i said the heat of the moment that has just become a meme uh, that has just transpired through YouTube. It was a heat in the moment, guys. Come on, it was just a heat in the moment, you know? I didn't mean for this to sound like an excuse, but it 100% comes across an excuse. So I never should have said that. And I'm not gonna make any excuses to why it did, because there are no excuses for it. Except you you basically just made a bunch of excuses for it, you idiot. A very good way to, <laughs> There you go, guys. That's how I should have started it, honestly. Whatever, it doesn't matter at this point. It's interesting looking back, though, at how different I feel. I'm really sorry if I offended, 
hurt or disappointed anyone with all of this. Being in the position I am, I should know better. Yeah, I keep I keep forgetting about that part, don't I? <laughs> How long ago was this? It's not bad. It's not bad. I think I'm doing okay. Um, I always it crops in here because uh, you know when you make an apology video, you want to keep the cuts as low as possible. Because if you just if you have a consistent cuts in it, people are just gonna think it's fake. It's kind of like you're reading off a script or something like that. Kind of like the Laura Lee video has constant cuts in it, despite you know it's just being said nothing in it. But I wanted to make sure that the last bit came across properly because I thought it was important to say uh, that, you know, I don't want this to keep happening. Because obviously this is the second time I messed up big time and I want to make sure that people know that I I'm not planning for this to happen again. Yes, there was the thing with the tweet. Uh, okay, that was insensitive, but it wasn't maybe as big a deal as these, uh, this at least. One of the things that I've learned from my mistakes is that there's a clear difference in what mainstream media or news outlet wants to think about something and what people actually think about something. I was given so much advice that looking back on, I am so glad I didn't take. If you want to make a good apology video, just be honest. Don't try and think that you can trick the internet because you can't. People, people are smarter than you think and they'll see through the, all this bullshit. It's easy to, for me to say this looking back, of course. But uh, it might be a good lesson for everyone out there. That's it for YouTube apology videos. There's clearly a lot more of them, but uh, we, we're way over time, so smash like. Goodbye.